guys, it's me, Stormy, and here's your weekly horoscope for the week of August 27th. And let me tell you, I have just got such big, exciting news this week. Yes, there's still room in the astrology classes. Please come join. There's only like two spots left. That's not the big news, though. The big news this week is that Mars is coming out of retrograde. Yes, yes. Look, can you feel that? I have some mass enthusiasm around Mars coming out of retrograde. Mars is our planet of action. Moving forward, initiation, right, passion, libido, all of that gets to come back online. Now, on Monday the 27th, we've got Mars coming out of retrograde in the sign of Capricorn, which is like a double-double winter chicken dinner. Because what happens is Mars wants to go. He wants to move. He wants to push forward, right? But Capricorn also wants to achieve. So always up, 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 up. This is a double winner kind of energy. We get to come back online. We get to move some things forward, those things we've been waiting to initiate. I don't know about you guys, but I've been gathering information, re-looking at my strategy around things, re-looking at all of these things, re-looking at even things around my ideas about sex. Mars is a sex planet, a libido planet, right? And these things get to start moving forward and taking different shape, which is absolutely beautiful. So this is a great energy this week. Now, I always say, with any retrograde planet. We do need to give them a couple days to have their little stretch and their cosmic latte so that they can get their lives together, you know? Think about it. First thing when you get up in the morning, do you want people running up being like, what's the plan, right? You don't want that. Neither does Mars, right? He's about it, but he needs a minute to wake up, resume his orbit and get going. So if you can wait just a couple days to initiate these plans, or if this direct energy happens and just happens to hit you, follow your inspiration. Follow, trust your gut, okay? Now, in that, what I will tell you is that also on the same day, we've got a square that I am quite mindful of. We've got a, it's just a minor square, but I think it's important to pay attention to, between Mercury and Jupiter. Now, where this gives me cause for concern, first of all, I love it. It's great. It's big thinking, right? Everybody's direct. We've got our energy going back forward. So big ideas, that idea that you thought, oh my God, I could never possibly do that. Yes. Let's start looking at, can we move this forward, right? Where I am hesitant with this energy is that it can create so much big idea that you actually lack focus and you end up kind of tripping over yourself or you make a decision that's not in the best interest of you because you're thinking too big and you've missed some of the details, okay? Now, that's what I would tell you to be mindful of. And if you've got a great idea of something's going on, this is the best thing since sliced white gluten-free bread, then you run it by somebody and allow them to say back to you what they're hearing you say so that you can know you're making making the best decision, right? But at the same time, you guys, oh my gosh, let's celebrate that we have energies that are moving us back forward. That sounds so funny. It's moving us back forward. It's moving us forward again so that we can start to take some new action in our lives and in our worlds, okay? Going to be a great week, I think. Please keep me posted on how this goes for you. Look, I am already in celebration of Mars retrograde over here, if you couldn't tell, because I've got some ideas. I've got some plans going forward that I think are going to come out just quite beautifully, especially here with Stormy Grace as well. So like this video, comment, share, subscribe, keep me posted please on the week. Last two spots available in the Astrology 101, 102 sessions. So click in the description box down below, grab your spot um, before we're already filled up, okay? I love you guys and I'll see you next week.